see that Western Kentucky six bowls last nine years and South Alabama looking for their first bowl win. And they're going to try and run with Point Dexter. First down for Western Kentucky. Into South Alabama territory to the 44. Jalen Jordan comes up and makes the play after a 12 yard run. Really physical by that offensive line opening up the hole. Here's Reed taking the deep shot and it's caught. Dalvin Smith. Get the first down. Hurry to the line. We talked about Yan Banks. He gets one on one with Dalvin Smith. It's just a go. Right up the numbers and Dalvin Smith. Octavius Lee, 78 with the kick out block. So here's Reed. From the pocket, another deep shot downfield. Looking for Smith again, who makes a terrific catch. Coming into this postseason date with South Alabama. Reed throwing again. Belgian a touchdown. Fourth touchdown catch of the year for Joey Belgium. Who's playing that nickel. Seems like the game plan has been to target that position, make Banks run, trailing Belgian. And... Reed with a two-by-two two look. Drops, now bails up the field. And Austin Reed's going to make it pretty easy from a field goal perspective. Really relishes this opportunity. He's done a great job this year with his quarterback. Oh, sure team. has. That's Smith in motion who caught the first touchdown. Now he's going to throw and open his hole. Touchdown for the Hilltoppers. Smith, have a night. Catch a touchdown pass earlier. This is an easy pitch and catch. Western Kentucky, three scores up on South Alabama. Thomas Jones, the tight end in motion. And Bradley will be sacked. Jaquez Evans back at the 14. It was interesting to hear Ben Arbuckle talk about the way he would have experienced it. Here's Reed, and that's Hall wide open. Inside the 15, down toward the 10 of South Alabama. Braden Narvison tonight, their normal place kicker because of an injury. This is a little shorter, 23-yarder, and he knocks it straight through. Got to feel like, all right, we've weathered the storm. Maybe we can get back in this thing. we got to find answers on defense. Bradley to Boyson again, a terrific catch at the Hilltopper 40-yard line. Of in and around Upton Stout. It's an 18-yard bullet for Carter Bradley. Here is the second down play, 10th play of the drive. Bradley, under duress, throws a wobbly ball for the end zone. It's intercepted. Picked off by Caleb Oliver. And Oliver back up the field. He'll be tackled at the 30. Davion Urban, Poindexter in the backfield with Reed here for third and full 10. Reed launching for Corley, and that's picked. Yam Banks. West, one of the staples of Christmas dinner is yams, and yam has shown up. The one-handed stab. Try and get in a situation they could go for it, but not upset with them kicking the field goal here. Diego Guajardo, who on the year 17 of 18, made his last four, and he puts the Jaguars on the board with 98 seconds. Urban Poindexter in the backfield with him. They'll toss it to Corley, going to the wide side, he'll score. How about that? 10 plays, 75 yards in 138. All the flow is going one way. You get a couple of pullers going the other. Joshua Simon, the tight end. And a quick snap here and throw on the perimeter. And this is the tight end, Thomas Jones, around the edge. And did he get in? He did. Touchdown for the Jaguars. Just you know, call dump to the tight end the whole way. You get blockers on the perimeter, and then the speed of Thomas Jones, TJ Thomas Jones, to get in the end zone. You and I watched Austin Reed in Western Kentucky on tape. He's a show in person. Here is Reed launching wide open Carly. He's going to walk in. 
for the touchdown. My goodness, Rod. Corley's got seven for 114. One on the ground and now one through the air. 38-10 at the New Orleans Bowl. Fourth and five for the Jags. Bradley, far side and intercepted. Upton Stout's got it. And the turf got him at the 36. The field is interception by defense. Missed his first one tonight from 34. Did hit from 23 in the first half. But this is 31. And the kick from Munson is good. It was interesting to listen to Tyson Summers talk about him yesterday. And that, I mean, he is a big man, legitimate, like 350, 335, and, and can make moves. And here's Borson behind the defense for the first time tonight for South Alabama. Trey Shaw saved the touchdown, Roddy. First three quarters of this game have knocked on the way that they anticipated, but it doesn't take away from this year. Here's Bradley from the pocket. Now going to be flushed and just shoots it to Webb, who will score a little shovel pass. Pretty heady play by Carter Bradley because whatever he was looking for wasn't going to happen across the line of script. Doesn't like what he sees and goes back to Webb on the backside. And just dives into the end zone. Nine catches for 120 tonight for the Jaguars. Here's Bradley forced up in the pocket, and he'll be sacked. Mike Allen wrapped him up. Got to be fun if you're Tyson to have your dad around, huh? I would say so. 31-yard try for Munson. And that field goal is good. One of the big areas of improvement for them next year, especially after the performance that we've seen tonight and, and some earlier, is the, the offensive line. Long throw into the corner and over the shoulder to Boyson. Hold on, he did. On a night when we've seen some spectacular catches, Devin Boyson, a 12-yard touchdown catch. It's a beautiful throw and catch. Shoulder pads being held a little bit, fading away. Like he was able to haul it in cleanly. What an impressive ninth win for the Hilltoppers, right? It certainly was. It, it, it was it was dominant from the word go. Austin Reed and that offense really set the tone. And when you are a team like Western Kentucky has been over the last few seasons, the offense often does. They lived up to it, really put the pressure on South Alabama. We just had no answers.